Before signing on as Blade in the MCU, Mahershala Ali had already been involved in other Marvel projects. Mahershala Ali played Cornell Contmouth Stokes in Marvel's Luke Cage on Netflix, because everybody wants to be the king, and also voiced Aaron Davis, the Prowler, in the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. You know me, sir. I don't ever quit. Wesley Snipes, who had previously played Blade in the Blade movie series, was really pushing for he himself to reprise the role as Blade in the MCU. However, following the announcement of Mahershala Ali playing Blade instead, Wesley Snipes really expressed gratitude for the actor in taking over the role. Wesley even told fans to chillax. How's it going everyone? This is Leroy Kenton here and welcome back to another episode of FTD Facts. And in this episode, we're taking a look at the rise of Mahershala Ali as an actor, as well as how he became one of the most prominent Muslim actors in Hollywood, if not the world. Mahershala Ali made history back in 2017 after becoming the first Muslim actor to win an Academy Award. And the Oscar goes to Mahershala Ali. <laughs> And as the internet erupted with different reactions, a large portion of the Muslim community could not accept this Oscar win. The main reason being is that Mahershala Ali follows the Ahmadiyya branch in Islam and practicing the Ahmadiyya faith is outlawed in Pakistan. Mahershala Ali was born Mahershala Hashbaz Gilmore and was born in Oakland, California in the year 1974. His grandmother was an ordained Baptist minister and his mother also later in life became a Baptist minister. And according to Mahershala Ali, he said that he was raised in a very strict religious household. His father, however, was an agnostic, but the two of them still remained close even after his parents divorced. He had converted to Islam in the year 2000, and following his Oscar win, he shared about how one visit to the mosque with his now wife and her mother changed his life forever. He said in his own words, I just had this really strong response where this prayer is resonating in my body. I woke up a week later, and I get up and go, I gotta go to the mosque. Long story short, I converted that day. This huge moment came at the end of a long spiritual journey. Mahershala Ali also shared and said, being in a relationship with God through Christianity had carried me for a period of time, and then I felt like I needed to understand something deeper. So I went through the process of digging through different religions and philosophies and ways of connecting to God, and that ended up being Islam for me. When he met his wife, Amida Sami Karim, in graduate school, they were both going through a similar spiritual journey. Amida was actually questioning her belief in Islam, being a Muslim herself, just as Mahershala Ali was opening himself up to the religion. Also prior after the events of 9-11, his faith didn't really seem like much of a big deal or issue. However, in years to follow, he was put on a watch list for travel, as well as his bank account was frozen. But despite his long list of critics and personal setbacks, Mahershala Ali has a stacked resume of work under his belt that has earned him a total net worth of $8 million. He's appeared in TV shows like House of Cards, The 4400, the Netflix show Luke Cage, and True Detective. And for films, he's appeared in Alita Battle Angel, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. He's also appeared in the movie Hidden Figures, and of course, Moonlight. We're all curious and excited to see Mahershala Ali's depiction of Blade, and also how the character's story is gonna tie in and play out in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> Here's an episode on 10 celebrities who are actually Muslim. Let's see how many of them you knew. And for more videos about your favorite celebrities, movies, TV shows, and more, subscribe and make sure you turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our daily episodes here on FTD Facts.